Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. This video will be focusing on one of the one of the major problems that we are that we have been encountering in Selenium. In the very starting, we told that Selenium has one problem that it doesn't have inbuilt object repository. Now, if you now first of all, what do you mean by object repository? You know, we have been doing you know Selenium for quite a while now. We have been using WebDriver for each and every page. We have to we were required to draw a new uh, map like we were taking a new email button again and again a new ID button again and again uh, we were taking the object of input box again and again so you know having all of these things defined again and again increases the time of coding increases the code complexity and also makes the code difficult to understand now let's have a look you know like why actually we need to have a object repository available in our selenium so first of all qtp has an inbuilt object repository and selenium has not then the, what is the problem say if you're having 50 different scripts on the same page say on one script you are checking that are you able to log in or not on the other script you are checking uh, you know you're validating your like uh, the customization like is the login uh, text right you know are the hints uh, shown right what happens if the user is not able to log in so there are say 50 different test steps or test uh, cases each test case is having you know again and you know is having the same definition or is having the same element if in case i change the id of one element what happens i need to change the 50 scripts that comes at a cost of huge maintenance for my framework or my project so what we do is we create a reusable class of web elements now what is the advantage by doing this we get the more readable more maintainable and the more reusable code in this way we have one class which is having all the web elements we will simply use this class wherever we actually want to you know uh, have a web element or you know wherever we want to perform some action on the web element so for this we have a model that is the page object model now we, so this was the reason why actually we need uh, object repository in the next video we would be seeing what is page object model what are the advantages of page object model and how we can convert our normal test case into the palm or page object model 